In high school, there was this girl, Meredith Rowland, a regally blonde. Her head was under every plastic tiara. And Simon was just royally sprung. I mean, he tutored her after school. Meredith was dating Neil Cover, big timer on campus. I mean, the, the guy had superstar status. He didn't even play a sport. He was in drama? Uh, anyway, one day at lunch, words out. Simon's screwing around with Meredith. I mean, he's dead. Period. History, final period, chemistry. Everybody knew how Neil was gonna react. Explosively? Yeah. You know how when you take a bottle and you put dry ice in it, fill it with water and cap it? And carbon dioxide is formed and the pressure causes the bottle to... Yeah, blow the hell up. Simon tried to show me that once in high school. Like chemistry could be a blast or something like that. It didn't really matter, I still flunked. But you know, that's the one thing I remember from chemistry. Anyway, right before the final bell, Simon's locker blows up. Cops, the bomb squad swoop in, they evacuate everybody, find pieces of plastic and, and dry ice from the chem lab. So there was no fight that day? No, not ever. Simon got kicked out of school the next day. Simon was expelled? <clears throat> the school was in the burbs. I mean, Simon kind of kept to himself. Maybe he wore a little too much black. I don't know. Anyway, he lost his scholarship. Oh, so that's why he had to go on Jeopardy, to pay for college. Yeah. All because I put that bottle in his locker. I don't get it. My contents were under pressure, okay? I was the one screwing around with Meredith, not Simon. She told Neil it was Simon just to, to cover my ass. She didn't give a shit about him. And you know, to this day, I still haven't told him. I mean, I, I want to. I went over to his house that first day after school and I just, I don't know, I, I couldn't do it. And I just kept going over there every day. I, I don't know, we, just, we became best friends. But you were just a kid. I've never felt like I've been as good a friend to Simon as he's been to me. Sometimes we gotta tell each other no We gotta tell each other no Sometimes this life is gonna be the death of me So, I got a job. Congratulations! You're a productive member of society again. You can go get your car fixed. Actually, I sold the Impala. But I love... But you loved that car. I needed the money to move out of the folks' place, you know? Yeah, yeah, I guess that's important. Paying rent is so fiscally stupid on so many levels. Well, you can't afford to buy a place around here, so... Oh, what are you gonna do? Well, you're paying rent. I mean, I don't understand why I have to pay rent for another apartment and, and put my stamp on the system. Wait, are you saying you want us to live together? Two economic wrongs don't make a right. You know, besides, I want to be with you, Gwen. So what do you say? Um, is Simon here? No. Uh, do you know where he no. is? Okay. Are you doing anything? Let's take a walk outside Just you and me For an on foot ride Follow me, I'll be the way so as a woman, did you ever want to be with a guy who was uh, aimless? Well, I'm sure women would want to be with someone that has some idea of what he wants to do with his life. Yeah. I guess there's a reason why drifters are loners, right? Are you talking about anyone specific? I don't know what I want to do with my life. 
Um, I don't think you have to worry about that. You're pretty. Look, you're young, and there are a lot of adults who don't know where they're headed. See, that's why they always ask kids, well, what do you want to be when you grow up? It's because they're looking for ideas. All right, it's my turn. I can tell that Simon really cares about what you think. So, what do you think about me? I can see you growing on me. Whoopee. Thanks for the company. It was fun. Yeah, sure. Simon, are you there? Hey. Hey. <laughs> Did you kids have a good time? Yes, great. Hey, it's uh, it's after twelve. Their shift doesn't start till six. Don't you have somewhere you need to be? The only thing I have to do today is remember every detail from last night and write it all down in my blog, so the whole world wide web can read about it. I don't think there's an emoticon or a smiley. That describes how I feel. Oh, I forgot your name. Can't remember anything. I think you came in my brain. Simon, it's Jane. Where are you? Lorenzo, you know how you're always saying the best way to get a girl to want you is to be inaccessible? That could not be more true. Yeah, well, no, it's hoes. I mean, Jane never called before I started seeing trees. You say Jane? I think she really misses me. Yeah, Simon, you win, man. All right, let it go. Oh, wait. Were you gonna call her? <laughs> yeah. It's my turn to do the mistreating. Yeah, this is Jane we're talking about here. She loves messing with guys' heads. Simon, like, just be careful, all right? Jane, it's Simon. Hey. What are you working on again? I know you've explained it to me like 10 times already, but you know I'm a boob top. Explain it to me one more time, please. Okay, I use visuals this time. Okay, I've constructed a protein that can bind itself to cancer cells. Um, okay, let's say that this is the tumor and this is the protein. Now this protein has another part to it that attacks the cancer but it only works if the protein is attached to the tumor. That way, all the normal cells around it are unaffected. It's a viable alternative to radiation and chemotherapy. It's extremely exciting. Or not, I've... <laughs> I lost you again, didn't I? No, oh no, he didn't lose What's me. That? No, okay, look, here's the tumor. Oh, 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 oh okay. Uh, oh. All right, no, that's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. 